Show them friends. Are Daenerys Targaryen and Moses the same person? The answer is yes, and in honor of Passover, here is my evidence. And before you at me, yes indeed, it's show Daenerys. Both Moses and Daenerys are separated from their people in their childhoods. Early on in their character arcs, both of them do a schmurder. Moses unalives that Egyptian overseer. Daenerys burns Mary Maz Dora alive in order to awaken her dragons with blood magic, and also do a little bit of a vengeance. Both of them have profound life-changing moments that involve something being unburnt. In the case of Moses, it's the burning bush that is not consumed by fire. In Daenerys' case, of course, it is herself. Both of them spend a lot of time wandering in the desert. Also, they both spend time hanging out in pyramids and freeing slaves. Moses splits the Red Sea. Daenerys does not exactly split the Narrow Sea, but she does indeed convince the Dothraki to cross on ships when their ideology is firmly against crossing any body of water that their horses cannot drink. So I've decided to admit that into evidence. Masende is basically Daenerys's Aaron, helping Daenerys slash Moses get their message across. Jorah is Miriam, right down to the leprosy-like affliction. Both Moses and Daenerys have enemies who are, oh boy, really sorry that they fucked with them. Overhead, is that the destructive power of Hashem passing over during the 10th plague, the unaliving of the firstborn? Or is that just Drogon's shadow? And unfortunately, both Daenerys and Moses were responsible for massacres of their own people. Moses marked literally thousands of people after the Golden Calf incident. With Daenerys, it is of course the fiery destruction of King's Landing. And alas, because of the mistakes they made along their journey, neither Moses nor Daenerys ended up making it to their destination. Spoiler alert, Moses passes away before he crosses the Jordan River, so he does not make it to the Promised Land. And Daenerys Targaryen is just about to sit down on the goddamn Iron Throne when Jon Snow, of all people, fucking shanks her. And on that note, I do rest my case. I hope you find yourself really contemplating these parallels during your Seder. Perhaps when you see the three matzo, which of course correspond to the three dragon eggs. Chag Pesach Sameach, everybody. And Valar Margules.